Hi and welcome back, this is Daniel and... Well, this is the next part, I don't know which one. Uh, so, we will continue adding details and the place where I want to de add details this time is around here, the chest. So, we don't have to do too much. Um, I know uh, what you expected at this point, but... Um, yeah, since it requires actually lots of details here. Um, we cannot add much more than, and but yeah, we just cannot add much more than what we have available on all guns. And instead of adding too many now, we're going to wait until we have more of them awa uh, available later at sculpting. Um, yeah, that's it. So. Let's see, I mean, I guess that's it actually, that didn't really change much. Uh, well, what you can do now is um, start by adding a subdivision surface modifier just to preview what it's going to look like when you do subdivisions for sculpting, because it's basically the same. So at this point you might notice that you have to do a few slight adjustments. It's okay if you don't reach quite the the silhouette because that's also things that we can fix later. Do you see the structure over here seems to work uh, good enough for us? Um, the arm um, here for the arms it's kind of troublesome, but I guess also here I'm going to decide to keep that for later and. Everything else looks fine. So now it's time to decide on what to do. We might just start sculpting or we might continue and add details first. Um, now one thing I might want to do still is add here one more topology difference, whatever you want to call it. I want to give it a try at least. So, um, what I want to do is create here kind of a what should I call this? Uh, like make a circle here, make a loop around here uh, to give the body a better structure. Uh, that will help us also later with sculpting. So basically, just cut it with the knife tool uh, like this. Uh, now it looks still quite awkward, but as soon as you add some more cuts, these ones over here, these ones over here, should be alright again. And yeah, that worked quite well. Now we can fix the shape a little bit. And. Oh, sorry. Okay, and over here we'll need to create a small crease and everything to have a bit more detail. So by deselecting that clipping feature you can tear the two halves apart. Um, after that I like to activate it again. Now this is a bit difficult because we are already in... Um, actually you know what, we'll, we'll just leave it as it is. We're going to leave that for sculpting. I think that's a better idea. Uh, I think it's a good thing to add the structure here, the topology, but we shouldn't overdo it. Um, yeah, these are the kind of things that you have to mainly think about when modeling. Uh, yeah, it's kind of hard to talk and and model at the same time. I guess you have to really concentrate on it. But I will do my best to give you all the information that you need and tell you as much as I can. So. As you can learn from this. Um, all right, that's that's good. Let's leave it as it is. Let's just make things a bit smoother all, all over here, um, because I want a redder broad base for sculpting. All right. Um, now what I want to do is delete this subsurface modifier. Um, because that's not the one that we want to use for sculpting. Apply the mirror modifier and 
here under the modifiers at the multi resolution modifier and you can click now on subdivide and you will get subdivisions I'll use two subdivisions for now maybe I'll go up to three we'll see and in sculpt mode you have now the possibility to work with all those details even though in edit mode you still have it as if it was subdivision surface uh, now keep in mind that you won't be able to merge that later with any other object but that's okay since, since our approach will have quite a few steps in between anyways <coughs> um, yeah let's let's start with sculpting in this part I was thinking about stopping it but I guess that would have been too, really too little information for this one so in sculpt mode let's set things up first um, or actually what do we need to set up yeah you want symmetry of course so that you still have your mirror um, we don't need any dynamic topology I guess the brush is alright we can just start working so I I would recommend you if you have a tablet use that tablet but it's I guess not everyone has one that's a bit of a problem but you don't need to have one uh, that should be said as well you can also uh, work with a mouse but I have to say that that's kind of well hard I'm not good at sculpting anyways but I have practiced enough to be able to do this so first thing I want to do is to use the grab tool to fix a few proportional issues here so for example the shoulder let's just bring it into place uh, was a bit too much I think um, by the way with F you can change the radius quickly by pressing F and with the move tool we just want to look at the uh, silhouette for now and adjust it with our reference not too much it can easily distort everything you have quite quickly but it's good enough for us to <coughs> add some of the bumps and uh, anatomical details that we want to add at this point already also it's good for adding volumes where you forgot some or yeah it's similar to um, proportional editing actually even though I prefer the other one over the move tool in some cases so once that is done well actually we might want to add some volume here as well um, hopefully that works that looks good enough okay once that's done we're going to switch our tool and uh, it will be the default draw tool probably the one that we're going to work with and just and yeah also the crease tool let's let's start with the crease tool maybe that one gives us a few cool opportunities for adding details um, here at the back for example let's also see whether we, uh, that didn't work so well um, definitely the belly here let's see yeah you see we're starting to <coughs> hit our limits with our sculpting resolution um, so I guess we'll have no other choice but to increase that later on but let's try to get as far as we can with what we have so yeah that's that now let's select the brush tool and I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and add some subdivisions I don't want to bother with it too much um, and then start working on it I mean what can I say about that uh, I guess just look at reference of I know stomach or whatever uh, and try to figure out what's important uh, what, what shapes are important and what makes it look like the real thing uh, just study the real thing to be able to make it better make it look better I guess that's an important thing generally about 
not only 3D modeling, it's art in general. The more you study the things that you make, uh, the better you're able to create those. Um, let's see. So my workflow here is quite random. <laughs> I'm just doing my best to get the shapes right, but it pays off in the end. I mean, I've compared the two techniques that I like to use. Like, um, I, I just do poly modeling normally, but adding this part in my workflow has really changed something about it. And, and yeah, I guess we, we should go for it. And the tools that I normally use are just the default tool, the grab tool, sometimes the clay strip tool, and uh, the smooth tool, of course, but that one I just use by pressing shift, and then you can smooth it. Um, I guess you don't need, oh, oh of course, the, the crease tool. I really like the crease tool. Oh, over here, we've probably forgot in the mesh too. Yeah, we should have fixed that here. Let's see if it still works. What happens if we move it around here? Well, it didn't quite work. Anyways, we have a it evenly now. We can just smooth it. Uh, kind of like that. Let's try to sculpt this down a little bit. All right. So you really want to concentrate on that part and also don't be too frustrated. I remember when I started sculpting, this part was really, really frustrating for me. I really tried hard to make it look good, but this is quite hard. Um, but I guess a few tips that I can give you is try to not work too intense. Try to really make your shapes worry um just use very low strength here or if you have a pen tablet press press down very light uh don't make too uh, heavy changes in your model um because later on once it's done it will it won't look that good in my experience except you know what you're doing um so let's try to finish this off with the final details that we left off um i'm sorry for not talking so much here in this part and everything it's just really challenging, uh, but but you see the, the kind of the theory behind all of that. I mean, you just have to shape it. It's not that hard. I mean, it's it's like saying you just have to draw. Um, I know that doesn't really help, but um, uh, I'm not a good at sculpting in particular, so uh, I guess there are some good tutorials out there about people sculpting in Blender. Check those out if you want, uh, or just do your best and try, try it yourself. I'm sure either way you will definitely improve your skills. Okay, but I'm starting to be satisfied with the result. Um, so I guess I'm going to stop the video at this part. Uh, at this point, but I might this time continue a little bit to work on it while not recording, uh, because that gives me kind of more peaceful situation to work in, and I can achieve better detail. We'll see. Uh, I, but I promise I won't do too 
drastic changes that that you will, would miss. Uh, yeah, it won't be anything too important. Just adjusting a few final things. But overall, I think we have reached now um, a good-looking body, kind of. Okay, that was more, probably not a good idea. So let's undo that. Um, yeah, uh, what was I saying? I guess that's already quite good looking and it fits our character quite well. I'll stop it here and be back in the next part, probably with everything looking a bit better. But remember, that's generally the, the technique that you want to use. Um, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.